What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the 2022 Chevy Blazer Premier. So if you guys have seen my videos in the past, you'll know that I am a massive fan of the Chevy Blazer. I love the look of it. I even went as far as to try and model my 2022 Chevy Bolt EUV after the Blazer RS model, as you can see here. So I'm a huge fan of the look and design. I really like what Chevy's doing with it. There are a couple changes here for 2022. Most of them revolve around things being either added or removed as far as like color and wheel options go. A couple engine option differences, a couple design differences, especially here on the Premier trim level. And we'll take a look at all of that stuff in this video, but it's nothing groundbreaking as far as the changes go, because this, again, like I said, is only about, what, three, four years old now. I think this is the fourth version of this body style of the Blazer. Good news, we do have an electric version of the Blazer coming in 2024, so that'll be exciting. I'm really looking forward to that, but for now, we'll just take a look at this ICE model here. This, again, is the 2022 Chevy Blazer Premier. So let's start up front and get right into it. All right, so the front hood here is remained mostly the same on other models here on the Premier, it has gotten a little bit of a facelift, no pun intended. It has some updated stylings at the bottom of the front and rear fascias around the wheel wells, the rockers and the wheels themselves. I think they did a good job of cleaning it up. Uh, it looks a lot more simplified than it has on previous models. You have your big Chevy bow tie here in the middle. This is the gold bow tie since it's not the RS model here. You don't have the blacked out bow tie. Then you have just some black accents here with a little bit of a silver accent in the center of it. Front facing camera. Your headlight cluster is split here. It is an LED cluster. So LED headlights and LED daytime running lights. And you've got some nice little accents here with like your little Chevy bow ties and things. So they do a good job of stuff like that. And I actually talked about all these little details in my top five hidden features on the Chevy Blazer. Definitely check that video out. I'll have it linked in the description. Now under the hood, this model has the 3.6 liter V6 engine. 308 horsepower, 270 pound-feet of torque. In previous model years, you had two different engine options on the lower trims. You had a 2.0 liter turbo and a 2.5 liter. They got rid of the 2.5 liter for 2022, so your only two engine options are the 3.6 liter V6 and then a 2.0 liter turbo, 227 horsepower, 258 pound-feet of torque. So you'll have that standard on most models. And then of course on the higher trims, you'll have this 3.6 liter V6. Now the Premier here sits on 21 inch aluminum pearl wheels. Again, this was part of the things that they kind of adjusted a little bit for this model year. I think they look nice. They're a little bit more plain. They're not as flashy as they used to be. And to be honest, I prefer this kind of more matte look to the really high gloss wheel look. I just think overall it looks better. So you can't really complain about these wheels, but again, they're nothing flashy, even up here on the Premier trim. This is the cherry red tint coat uh, main color here, which I think is beautiful. I'm a huge fan of red vehicles, as you probably know. Moving on back, you have that same cherry red tint coat on the side mirrors, integrated turn signals. They're manual folding, not power folding. Uh, they do have the camera up underneath for your surround vision camera system. Uh, they have blind spot monitoring, they're heated and they have, like I said, the integrated turn signals. Blazer badging right here in chrome. Moving on back on these door handles, they're kind of a two-tone with the cherry red tint coat and then a little bit of a chrome accent around. They do have your uh, push button keyless access here. Up top, you've got silver roof rails. You've got a panoramic power tilting and sliding sunroof up top, which looks fantastic. Black trim around the windows. Your back windows are already tinted. The front ones are not. Now, like I said, there's some kind of package changes and then looks changes for 2022. One of those is the addition and deletion of some colors. So two of the new colors, you have nitro yellow and then a blue glow. And then there's two colors they got rid of, which are bright blue metallic and the midnight metallic. So those colors are no more for 2022. And they also simplify the trim levels, which all manufacturers need to do this. They're very complicated for no reason at all. But they got rid of the base model L trim as well as the one LT. So now you have the LT trim, the RS and the Premier. The LT trim is broken up into the two LT and the three LT, which just give you uh, different additional packages on top of what you already get on the regular LT. So nice and simple, LT broken to two LT, three LT, RS and Premier. So moving to the back of the Blazer Premier here, you'll see these nice sculpted three-dimensional taillights, nice big back windshield here, rear wiper, gold Chevy bow tie again, Blazer badging, Premier badging. 
So you do have kind of this two camera setup here on the back. You have one, which is your standard rear view camera. And then you have the other one, which works with your rear view mirror camera, which we'll take a look at more inside. Again, a little bit of a redesign here on the bottom fascia. You have a lot more simplified colors, a little bit less chrome, some nice satin two-tone colors here with that same kind of dark gray and then a lighter gray satin as well that kind of mirrors what you have going on on the front. And then you have your button down here for your power lift gate. You've got some LED cargo lighting back here. You've got these little handles here that will drop your second row seats. Nice and easy right there. And you have a ton of cargo capacity here on the Blazer. 30.5 cubic feet with the rear seats up. With the rear seats down, 64.2 cubic feet of cargo space. So plenty, plenty of cargo space. And again, like I said, both these handles will drop your second row seats nice and easy. Up underneath here, you've got an 18 inch spare tire as well as some of the other tools you may need. Some nice cargo areas as well on the sides and up underneath. You also have dual exhaust tips that are split here and they are functional exhaust tips. So they actually will work. They're not just for looks, uh, which is always a plus. But that's everything here on the exterior. Let's go ahead and hop inside the cabin. All right, so hopping inside the beautiful cabin here of the Chevy Blazer. So many things to talk about, but let's just go ahead and get started with this leather wrapped steering wheel. It has some contrast stitching along the sides. You've got your adaptive cruise control controls on the left and then your media controls on the right. Lights and wipers in your normal places. It is a power tilting and telescoping steering wheel. So you have this little control pad up underneath that you can move it in and out, up and down, all that kind of stuff, which is a really nice touch. Past the steering wheel, you kind of have a little bit of a split gauge design. So you have two analog gauges on the either side. In the middle of those two things, kind of integrated in a unique way, you do have a little bit of a digital display there. It's gonna give you kind of what gear you're in, navigation settings, audio settings, your adaptive cruise control settings, all just your basic vehicle information will be on that display. Now you do have the Bose premium audio system here on this specific Premiere, but that is not the standard. It will come standard with a six speaker audio system. You have to add the Bose system on now as an option in 2022. So that's a little thing that's changed. Push the start button here, auto start stop engine disable button. You've got your uh, hazards here, your eight inch infotainment center here as well, a button to open your glove box, and then your traction control button right here. Now this infotainment system has all your standard audio, Bluetooth, navigation, Wi-Fi hotspot. You also have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is a nice feature to have. Uh, you have an on-screen climate control system. You have your camera menu, which gives you all your different surround vision camera views. OnStar Series XM, My Chevrolet, all the kind of goodies that you're used to seeing on this display. Now, like I said, this display is an eight inch display. One of the things I'd like to see them add on, you know, newer Blazer models is a larger infotainment display, like 10. I'd like to see that as an option here on the Blazer. I just think that would be a nice touch, but just an eight inch display here, not only on the infotainment, but also an eight inch display as like a, you know, kind of digital display cluster there in the middle of those analog gauges over here. Moving on down, you have a dual zone climate control system. So no uh, specific climate control for the back seat, but you do have vents back there. But the driver and passenger can be individually assigned temperatures or you can sync them however you wanna do it. Uh, you do have heated and ventilated driver and passenger seats heated rear seats. But I want to talk about these vents really quick because I'm a huge fan of them. Now they've had these on all Blazer models. They're Camaro inspired, come straight from that. Uh, but they're really unique because you can actually twist them to change the temperature. So left for cool, right for heat, and you can adjust that here. You can kind of angle the vents however you want, and you can twist them in the center to close them. So really unique design. I'm always a huge fan of these when I get to see them in here. And I wish my Bolt had them, but you know, it doesn't. This model also comes equipped with a wireless charging pad that is an option that we added on, but you do have a USB-C port, a USB-A port in the center here. Again, that wireless charging pad, and then up under the center console, you have a 12 volt outlet, an SD card slot, a, another USB-C port, and another USB-A port. So plenty of connectivity. Nine speed automatic transmission here. You've got your manual mode as well. Two cup holders here. You have your drive mode select, parking sensors, and then your lane keeping assist. You can enable or disable that. Again, we already looked inside the center console, but on top you have this leather material. It's split down with this kind of microfiber down the center, and then you have some more accent stitching as well. And that same accent stitching runs along the door panels here, up over the dash here, down underneath as well. So kind of a, a two-way street there. 
and then back over to those door panels and then it's on the seats, obviously. So as we talked about outside, you do also have this rear view mirror camera, which can be enabled just by turning the car on and then flicking the switch here. And then you do have access to a camera, which is one of those two cameras that we looked at outside, but you can just flick this back down and it is a normal rear view mirror, very premium feeling mirror. Now up top, you have a sunglasses holder. You have your universal home light garage door controls, your panoramic sunroof controls, and then you've got these uh, dome lights here, which are LED and your OnStar buttons as well. Now, as far as seating surfaces go, these are a jet black leather seat here. Again, they have that accent stitching that I touched on and they have this kind of tan trim that runs around the headrest down the sides again perforated seats for that ventilation for driver and passenger heated for driver and passenger just regular heated seats in the second row one other thing that they have that's really cool is this little kind of accent on the inner part here it's like this little flag white kind of maroon color and then a gray and then more white i'll give you a close up here so you can see it the driver is an eight-way power adjustable seat with the two-way position memory the passenger is a six-way power adjustable seat and again, heated and cooled. Now, again, like I said, there's a couple changes for 2022 just here and there. They deleted quite a few little options here on the interior, which I just wanna hit on real quick rapid fire style. Uh, they got rid of the floor rail system that you used to have in the back of the blazer here. They got rid of the cargo flex divider. They took out the premium carpeted floor mats. They took out the embroidered front row headrest like I talked about. They took out the rear seat entertainment completely. There's no uh, rear seat entertainment without DVD or with DVD player and they took out the keyless entry keypad, which I don't ever remember seeing, but apparently that was an option. Now, if you guys wanna know more about the technology systems here on the Blazer, there are a lot of them. I made a whole video on this over on my tech channel, Mets Tech. I'll have it linked down below. I'll have a clip here on screen so you can see, uh, but we talked about every single tech feature in this vehicle, kind of how they work in more detail. So definitely head on over there, check it out. And if you enjoy it, hit subscribe. All right, so hopping into the second row seats here, Again, I'm 6'1", so I just wanted to give you guys kind of a good look at what this would feel like or, you know, the spaciousness of it. I'll have dimensions here on screen for you so you can see. But you can see I have probably, I don't know, inch and a half to two inches of leg space for my knees here. And I've got this seat pretty far back where I'd have it as a 6'1 person. Uh, Matte pockets on both of the back seats here. You do have this little center console thing that pulls out, two cup holders inside here. You have no big transmission bump here. So the you know middle row seats has plenty of room for their legs. As far as amenities go, like I said, you do have heated seats for your driver and passenger side, sorry, middle seat. And then you have rear vents here, one USB-C port, one USB-A port, and then you have a 120 volt regular size outlet right here. So you can charge things like a laptop or an iPad or, or something of the like. Also, these seats do recline, which is a nice touch. So you can get a little bit more comfort, a little bit more leg space there if you need it. And like I said, that panoramic sunroof reaches all the way to the back seat. So if you're back here, you're gonna be able to enjoy a nice day like today. Now the 2022 Blazer has a whole host of safety features. Standard on every Blazer, you get the Chevy Safety Assist Suite, which has six intelligent features to help you react to road conditions like forward collision alerts, automatic emergency braking, front pedestrian braking, follow distance indicator, lane keep assist, lane departure warnings, things like that. You also have the standard HD rear camera. You also have HD surround vision that you can add on. And then you have additional features you can add like rear cross traffic alert and rear park assist. So just a whole host of safety and technology inside of this bad boy. All right, let's take the Premier Blazer here for a little bit of a test drive. Reminder, 3.6 liter V6, 308 horsepower, 270 pound-feet of torque. Uh, it does have a push to start engine like we talked about. So here's, it's got a startup sound. Nine speed automatic transmission here, and we'll test it in touring and sport mode for acceleration. You can see that surround view camera working there from the front and the back. That's the front angle there. Again, I have videos on last year's model, the 2021. I also have a tech feature overview on my tech channel, Mets Tech. I'll have that linked below. And I have a top five hidden features video on the 2021, but that's also applicable here to 2022 since not a whole lot has changed. So as with most uh, heavier SUVs like this, it just, it takes a little bit of time to get going, but once it does get going, you can really feel the power there. And when you're on highway driving, which I'm not gonna do in this test drive, but I have done extensively with the Blazer, 
you can really feel that when you're passing on the highways. Once you get up to speed and going, you, there's no problems here with the acceleration or the speed of the Blazer. The gauge cluster display, I'm not the biggest fan of. I like that it's almost fully digital. I wish they'd go all the way, make it like a 12 inch display, fully digital. And I think they will do that eventually. But for now, maybe on the EV version, but for now we just have this eight inch display. It gives you some nice vehicle information. I just don't love the look of it as much. Now this eight inch display is not bad either. Like I said earlier, I wish it was a little bit bigger and easier to use, but as far as usability, like it doesn't interact with the steering wheel at all. You can easily access all of your different items there, climate control, camera menu, all those kinds of goodies, nice and easy to reach. Again, they put the climate control menu on here, built-in navigation. It's a very fluid navigation system, uh, especially navigating around the screens. One of the more fluid systems uh, that I've seen on most vehicles. So I really like that. Now, as far as the safety systems go and kind of uh, driver assistance features, let's go ahead and do our adaptive cruise control here. You can adjust your gap distance by using this button right here. So we'll do medium and we'll go ahead and uh, set the adaptive cruise on and cruise braking is on, so it will start to slow me down if I get too close to this truck in front of me here. Let's test that out. So you can see it's already starting to slow me down here. Yep, it should bring me to a full stop once I get close enough to this truck. And I'm not applying any brake pressure here. This is all the vehicle doing it. And there it is. Brings me to a full stop. Now, one of the real tests is, will it speed me back up? And no, it does not look like it's doing that. That's unfortunate. As far as visibility is concerned, that's one of the things that I like most about the Blazer. It's a huge front windshield, really no noticeable blind spots, especially with the camera system, the rear view mirror camera, the A-pillar not being massive, uh, the little pocket window here, all that stuff lends really well to its very clear visibility. Seating comfort is top notch as well. These are some of the more comfortable seats uh, of any Chevy model that I've sat in. One little thing that's really noticeable when you sit in one of these blazers is the noise cancellation. They list it as an option, so it's on the sticker, but you can really tell, like even from just opening the side door, how much louder it is and then shutting it and getting that kind of vacuum seal kind of sound to it it really stands out to me it's just a really really premium feeling cabin overall which you should expect for just south of 50 grand at around forty nine thousand dollars the last little test i want to do is i want to do an acceleration test in sport mode and a braking test feels a little bit more responsive than touring not it's not significant but it's noticeable yeah pretty solid can't complain there so yes the 2022 blazer super comfortable cabin lots of nice safety features some nice tech as well very stylish looking suv but it's pricey at like i said just south of 50 grand for this premier model i think i would still kind of lean towards going for the RS. It's a little bit cheaper, a little bit, not much, but a little bit cheaper. I prefer the look of the RS overall with some of the black accents that they put on there, some of the red accents. But if you want something around that 45 to 50 range with all the bells and whistles, you really can't go wrong with the Blazer.